What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my unboxing and first look at this, the iPhone 5. So for those of you that watched my video yesterday, you'll know that I said I wasn't going to be getting this today because Vodafone, my provider, told me I wasn't going to be getting it until Monday. But then somehow it has actually come through today, so I'm extremely happy about that. I've literally just rushed home from work, although it's a miracle I managed to find my way home with the new maps on iOS 6. Boom, boom. Anyway, guys, we're going to go through the unboxing of the iPhone 5. I've gone for the 64 gigabyte uh, version in white. Loads of people have gone for black, um, but I decided to go for white just to be a little bit different. Uh, I quite like the, the look of the white one with the aluminium on the back. So that's the one that I've gone for. This is obviously £699, I believe it's $699 as well in the US, but obviously on contract you get it heavily subsidised. So I think on a contract with unlimited minutes, unlimited text and also two gigabytes of internet i think it worked out about 45 pounds a month and then i paid about 180 pounds for the phone or something like that on a one year contract but anyway guys just show you the packaging here so typical kind of apple standard packaging it looks extremely nice and they did actually deliver me a uh, micro sim as well with it i oh, sorry a nano sim as they're now called so let's get into this. Um, yet again, I am pulling out this big kind of wife killing knife that I've got here. Bit overboard, but I can't find my scalpel anywhere. So here we go. Open. Let's open it up. I like the new uh, type font on the side. Nicer than the old one. A little bit more sleek. And there we go. Laying on top there is the iPhone 5. And to be honest, from this point of view, it looks pretty much exactly the same as the iPhone 4S when you just look at it on the front here. But if we hold them side by side, you can see it is not that much bigger, but a little bit bigger than the iPhone 4S. So let's take this out. Wow, <laughs> it's really light. When you compare the weight to the iPhone 4S, it's significantly lighter than the iPhone 4S, significantly lighter, quite surprising. And there we go guys, that's the phone, there's the back of it there, with that nice sort of aluminium plate and the two white bits there at either end. Round to the front, on the bottom we can see we've got the headphone output along with that new lightning port and some vents there for the speakers and whatnot. And it, is, it does feel a hell of a lot lighter. I can't believe how much lighter it feels. It almost makes it feel like it's not as good quality, if you know what I mean. But it actually looks a lot better quality because it's made out of that kind of aluminium chassis. But I'll just show you the back in comparison of the two. There you go. So they're kind of side by side. Put them on top of each other. There we go. And that's them directly next to each other. So, really looking forward to having to play around with this. And in fact, I'll just show you the uh, the width, uh, sorry, the height difference, not the height, the thickness difference between the two. And you can tell, I can tell already, it's quite substantial, the difference. They do say 18% thinner, and I didn't think it would be that much, but it is actually considerably thinner than the iPhone 4S. I hate the fact that they've put the headphone on the bottom. When you put it in your jacket, why do you want the headphone coming out the bottom of it? I want it coming out the top. And surely that's the way most people listen to it. Um, you know, you put it in your pocket that way round. I don't know why you'd want the headphone coming out the bottom. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I much preferred it in the top like they had on the 4S. In terms of the buttons on the side, they're pretty much identical as they were before. So you've got the mute on off along with the volume up down buttons and in fact they look to be almost exactly the same as before although they feel very slightly better on the new iPhone 5. So that's quite interesting. And yeah, it definitely feels quite nice in the hand there. It does fit nicely in the hand. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to use it one handed and I wouldn't be able to stretch into those corners, but you can see here, even though I've got actually quite small hands, I can actually 
pretty much reach all the way around it. So that's a good sign. And really loving that aluminium there on the back. I think it just looks, that two-tone looks absolutely beautiful. Really does look beautiful. Really interested to try out the front-facing HD camera, which Apple have finally decided to bring to us. And we've been living in the dark ages for God knows how long. So I'll be really interested to see how good this front-facing camera is and also the back-facing, but more interestingly, the front-facing camera, because that's obviously been upgraded to HD and it'd be interesting to see if it's anywhere near as good as the front facing camera on the Galaxy S3 because that is the one to beat. That front facing camera on the S3 is astounding. But anyway, on the back as well we've got the camera obviously along with the flash and then like I say on the bottom there we've got that stupid headphone connector. On the top we've got the power on off. The nano sim halfway down the actual casing and then on the other side, just got the buttons. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much about it. I will show you what else we get in here just because I know some of you like to run through it. We've got a kind of stretched little set of leaflets in here. It does look weird being that big. We've got the SIM removal tool just connected into that little leaflet. And then we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here as well. Got a hello guide there. And then we've got another little phone info. And then, to add to my collection, we have two more Apple stickers as well. So they're added in. And in fact, I'd almost forgot because we did the EarPods unboxing just the other day that you got EarPods with the iPhone 5. But if I just hold this up, you can see you get another set of EarPods in there and then we get our power adapter as well in there. So I've now got a couple of pairs of these EarPods for those of you that haven't seen them, they look like mini hair dryers. And in fact, I did a video completely on these the other day, so check that out, I'll leave a link down below. We have then got the lightning connector, which is absolutely tiny. I didn't expect it to be that small. Look how tiny that is. It's absolutely tiny. It's literally smaller than your little finger now. It's absolutely tiny. Never expected it to be that small. And then obviously that just slots directly into the bottom of the phone there. Really is completely tiny. And in fact, by the looks of it, they've actually made the USB part of it just that little bit smaller as well. It's a bit more flush with the actual metal sort of connector bit itself. They've actually made that just that tiny bit smaller. So the whole cable overall is a little bit smaller. And then we've got our three pin UK adapter. But anyway guys, there is the phone itself. It does look absolutely beautiful as you would expect. And I really can't wait to give this thing a try out. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm on holiday now for the next couple of weeks. Although I will still be chucking out some videos on this channel. If you want to follow me on my travels, make sure you go and subscribe to my vlog channel. I'm going to be doing loads of vlogs with the new iPhone 5. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.